is Alan with Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. Excuse the voice, but that's what happens after you recover from radiation therapy. So, um, today we're going to do the HK P30L, which is this firearm right here. Nice looking firearm, isn't it? It's got a polygonal increases stability, accuracy, and muzzle velocity. It's got an extra long slide for this particular firearm, which makes it shoot like a dream. It's got corrosion-resistant uh, finish on it. It's got multiple back straps. It's got a unique decocker, which is on the side of the firearm, right there. You push that button and it decocks it. Um, there's a number of other features that this firearm has, which I will go over with you at the workbench. So, without any further ado, let's get to the workbench and take a closer look at this firearm. Let's field strip it, clean it, lube it, and put it back together again. The Heckler & Koch H&K P30 or P30 LS for long slide V3S. Now, all the features on this firearm I have right on my tag, and I'm just going to read them off to you. It's got a long slide, it's single over double action, corrosion proof fiber reinforced frame, polygon bore to increase velocity and barrel life, patented recoil reduction system, nitro carbonized slide corrosion resistant, ambidextrous magazine and slide release and loaded chamber indicator, two mags, two additional back straps, and two additional sets of lateral uh, grip plates. Lifetime warranty, this is in a 40 Smith, this is also get it in 40 Smith & Wesson. Barrel length is four and a, uh, four fifths of an inch. Magazine capacity, it has one nine and one 13 round magazine. Here are the two back straps, which change the size of the, back, the uh, grip. So you get a total of three, including the one that's on there. You get two sets of uh, side grip panels. You can change them. And here's your second 13 round magazine. Here is your uh, one that comes with the firearm. Mag release is right here, which is real nice. You can release it with thumb or finger. Okay. And comes with the tool for making the change outs comes with a little thing of oil and of course the paperwork. So let's take a closer look at this firearm. First of all we can tell it's empty. It has a safety bar in there. We're going to look in the magazine well anyway. Okay. Magazine in. This is the magazine release right here. It pops it right out. Now Let's take a look at the sight picture on here. That's a pretty nice sight picture. Okay, very bright uh, day glow green. Um, it's a yellowish green three dot. And they are windage adjustable by swaging the front or rear sight, right or left, as needed. Here is your, um, this is a bit different. Usually, the safety is part of the decocking system. In this case, the decocking system is a button right back here, which you push it in and it decocks it for you, which I find pretty interesting. It's double over single, so the first shot would be double. After it's fired, the round will uh, cycle the slide, cocking the firearm to make the next round single action, which is a much lighter trigger pull. It has a Picatinny under rail, so you can add a laser, a light, um, or a wraparound holder for a uh, holographic. Okay, it's got a ambidextrous safety, marked S for safe and red F for fire. Now to take this gun apart, it also has an ambidextrous sl um, a slide release. So you can get it from this side or this side. So it's 
this gun is totally ambidextrous between the safety, the slide release, and the magazine release. Very nice firearm. My gunsmith loves the way this fires. It is so smooth. Now, in order to take this apart, it's very interesting. A lot of guns that have, or pistols that have ambidextrous um, slide locks have a, a difficulty in taking them apart. There's a certain amount of uh, skill level needed or knowledge needed to do it properly. In this case, they did a really smart thing. I'm going to show you what they did. First of all, you have to note there are two slots, one here and one here. And that is... One, the first one is your slide lock. The second one is your takedown uh, area. So you have to move this takedown area over this area here, like that. Once you're into that position, you just push on this little uh, piece right there, this pin. You can heard that snap. It pushed this forward. And you can actually see there's a red mark right there. That red mark indicates the gun is not safe to shoot because the slide is not locked down. And at this point, all you have to do is pull the slide off. Of course, the magazine has to be out. Then, all you have to do is, with your thumb, push this forward and up. And that comes out. By the way, this is the little buffer that is your recoil reducer makes this 40 caliber feel like a 9 millimeter. They're a dream to shoot. And there you go. That's totally disassembled. Feel stripped. And now to clean it. Very simple. We just need some clean cloths and some cleaner. Now I use Strikehold. The reason I use Strikehold, it's an all-in-one, all-purpose cleaner. This will clean, protect, and lubricate. So, using this one product, I do not have to lubricate it. Now, for those of you who do not use a product like Strikehold, that use traditional gun cleaner, that cleans a gun only, you do have to lubricate it, and I will at the end of the video, before I reassemble the gun, show you how to lubricate it. But with Strikehold, you, don't have, you can skip that process and just put the gun straight together again. So, what we'll do is we'll take a cleaning cloth, we will put it on a cleaning rod, spray some strike hold on it, and we will run it down the barrel. Making sure that barrel is clean. I'm going to spend some extra care making sure that the chamber is totally clean, because I don't want my ammunition getting stuck in the chamber my, my, I want because uh, that can cause a jam. The shell can get stuck in there, too much dirt, and it will not eject. It will not be able to pull it out Okay, of the chamber. I'm going to make sure this whole area back here is very clean, and you can see there's quite a bit of dirt on this firearm. I'm going to clean off the outside of the barrel. Okay, now I'm going to clean off this rod. Let's get a new clean cloth. Get the spring clean. Now, let's get this. So the first thing I'm going to do is, just by using my fingers, I'm going to get every place that I can get easily, using my fingers, make sure I get the battery clean. Look at all that dirt that came off of the battery. Because a lot of people forget to clean back here, unfortunately. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flat stick I have. 
and wrap my cloth around it so I can get in here underneath the extractor. Okay, so make sure that's totally cleaned out. Because if you get too much, if you get dirt under the extractor, that can also cause a jam because the extractor can ride over the the rim the the rim of the cartridge and leave a loaded round in your gun and then you think it's empty and you pull the trigger and it goes off so you should always look into the chamber to make sure the gun is actually empty or two while you're firing it it can leave a spent cartridge that is a little uh, hard to pull out it can ride over and leave that in there causing a jam and you don't want to have a jam at an inopportune moment like when you actually really need the pistol but still, even when you're just shooting it, it's not a lot of fun. Now, I'm going to go over the slots on each side of this slide and get make sure they're all cleaned out. Go up and down on the firing pin block. Get it clean back here. And then just to make sure the outside of the gun is protected, I'm going to wipe down the outside of the gun with strike hold. Look at that. Look at that sheen it puts on there. And it's dry to the touch. On the frame, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to clean all the areas that you can reach with your finger. It's a good time to check your ejector. Make sure it's clean. Make sure the rails are clean. With this gun it's pretty simple. Go down into the magazine well from both sides. Let's get the magazine. Now, some place that a lot of people do not show you where to clean is under the fingers of the magazine. Make sure you get them. These are all the places that can cause fouling and jams. That's basically it. That is all you need to do. If you're using a product like Strikehold, an all-in-one, at this point, you can put your firearm back together again. But if you're using traditional cleaner, you have to oil it. Here's some regular gun oil. People ask me what pro gun oil I'm using. It doesn't matter. You can use any gun oil. They're all about the same. You use very little. People think guns should run wet. They shouldn't. They should run just lubricated, which means three drops of oil on your cloth and just touch your uh, slide rails, your uh, frame rails with it. Do the grooves in your do the grooves in your slide. And then with what's left of the oil, you can wipe down the inside of your firearm with it. And that's it. That's the only oiling you have to do. Just with an oily cloth. Don't squirt it all over your gun. You might want to put a little bit of oil on your spring. Basically, I'm only oil oiling areas that move. And we're going to put uh, the oil rag down the barrel. The oil doesn't make the bullet go through it better, but a little bit of oil will protect the inside of the barrel to a certain extent from moisture. Now to put this firearm back together again, it's quite simple. Same process in reverse. We drop the barrel in, slide it backwards. We're going to put the spring in like that. This hook part goes down. 
See that hook? That goes down. Push it forward and push it down and it will drop right into place. Put your slide on. Pull it back into that position. Push this in. And that's all you have to do. Checking decocker. Checking double action. Magazine release. Everything works fine. There we go. The Heckler, Heckler, Heckler and Coke P230 long slide. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for visiting and watching the video on the P30L, which stands for long slide. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time.